A fishing trip to Paris, Tennessee was anything but a relaxing time for two young men from Northwest Missouri as St. Joseph's Gage Blanton and Gower's Riley Merrow placed in the top 20 nationally in the National Bassmaster Championship. KQ2's Madeline McLean got out on the water with them today to find out some of their secrets to success. Getting at Happy Holler Lake where I just finished fishing with two guys who finished just outside the top 10 in the National High School Bass Championship. Their parents were so proud that they reached out to us on Facebook about it and I just had to see for myself how good they were. Adrenaline's pumping, you're thinking, what if, he, what if there was one there? What if, what if that one fish you lost, what if he was a giant? Things were not looking good for Gage and Riley. We ended up, the, was it second day, we were in 110th place. Halfway through the tournament, everything came together. We just got the bites we needed and got ourselves, climbed all the way up to 11th place. Let's reel that one back and let that line sink in. We jumped 99 places over one day. The fish were there, but to catch up, something big had to happen. Gage ended up getting into that good one. We knew, sudden we got him in the net, this is a really good chance of making that top 12 for the final day. They knew they needed at least two fish that were four pounds each or better. <laughs> then Gage snagged a big bass. It was insane to catch one that was almost, that was almost, you know, the weight of two four pounders. It was a, it was incredible and we knew that we had a really good chance after that one. Sinking the dreams of more than 250 teams. Gage and Riley finished just outside the top 10. It was, it, was a, it was an amazing experience. Both of them tell me that the dream is to ultimately be able to do this for the rest of their lives and be able to financially support themselves through fishing. And from what I've seen, they're well on their way. Reporting at Happy Holler Lake, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Also this afternoon, Madeline told us while she was out there with the boys, they caught six fish in just an hour. Let's look live outside now. There you see it, a hot, hazy day, feeling like a typical